Tom Duty, middle-aged American living in New Jersey near the Lincoln Tunnel. If you were to visit my website, you would type Howdy Duty into Google. You'll find the correct spelling of the famous puppet. You then combine Tom Duty in a Google search from my site. I will post a link to this video on a friend's uh, Facebook post where he uh, expresses outrage over a California newscaster fired for uh, uh, tweeting uh, all lives matter. So these phrases, black lives matter, all lives matter, white lives matter, have all become supercharged phrases. So in all the times I've been fired for what I think is stupid stuff, uh, I have never been fired for any reason where the person firing me has pinpointed a reason. So for that, the newscaster knows, I assume this is a man, he or she, but probably he, the newscaster knows why he was fired. So I don't have a whole lot of sympathy for this person. Now, my real purpose in this video is to introduce people to hip hop. And I'm going to use the masterpiece of Biggie Small, Juicy, to do that. Now, Biggie was recently used by me in the tribute to my mother on the occasion of her death. It was also uh, referenced in a speech in the United States Congress. This is a brilliant piece of art. And in my placement of this link, the audience I might get that I don't normally get I would venture to say they are not hip hop fans. So, first, a comment about white lives matter, all my slatter, black black lives matter. These phrases are all true statements. White lives do matter, black lives do matter, and all lives do matter. So, to say uh, black lives matter at a time like this has nothing to do with being incorrect. It has to do with bad fashion. Now, the designer, the fashion designer Dior, is credited for the new look. This followed a, a, a certain trend that would happen after World War II, and Dior is not credited for all of it, but he is credited for the new look. We're now all of a sudden more generous use of fabrics and a bigger style, more memorable fashion uh, became uh, perfectly timed with the end of World War II when we weren't skimping so much. So listeners, just prove this to yourself. In your mind right now, try to remember women's fashion of the World War II era. Now try to remember will, women's fashion of the 50s, the bobby socks, those black and white shoes. They had a name I forget. And the big skirts. That was not fashion of World War II. Listeners, if, if I'm right, you are probably not getting images of fashion from World War II in your mind, but you are getting images of the 50s. So to wear that bigger skirt, if you could, retro, and wear that during World War II, it wouldn't be incorrect. It would be bad fashion. And that's my claim. There's nothing wrong with saying all lives matter. It's just bad timing, and in this case, bad fashion. And on a, on a petty level, I think all lives matter, white lives matter. These sound petty right now. If you think about the narrative that gave birth to BLM, Black Lives Matter, we've got abundant evidence in our system that says the justice is disproportionately focused in a negative way against black men, young black men. And so uh, the, 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 the viral videos, the events of today are telling us black lives don't matter. And BLM is born saying black lives matter. So if you put white lives matter or all lives matter in that context, you've got a narrative, viral videos that are saying black lives don't matter. And then people are reacting saying, White lives matter or all lives matter. It's a it's a little bit like the smarty pants of my childhood responding to an insult saying, I know you are, but what am I? It's to say all lives matter, white lives matter at this time is a disconnect with the moment, the sentiment of when Black Lives Matter was born. Again, the 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 prevailing message from law enforcement is black lives don't matter. Black lives matter. Well, now you go, the narrative viral videos are saying black lives don't matter. And the response is all lives matter. So now in the event, I still have an audience that would normally not be hip hop fans. I move on to the masterpiece of Biggie Small. Now the answer to the first one is limousine. So it goes like this. This is the one I used in my mother's tribute. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazines, salt and pepper, heavy D up in the limousine. 
Now, now this one is is relevant because Biggie says way back when I had the red and black lumberjack with the hat to match. Now Biggie Small was murdered at 24, so way back was not very far back. Now the answer to this is trade. Time to get paid, blow up like the world. Trade. Now the answer to this one is sardines for dinner. Born a sinner, opposite of a winner. I remember when we used to eat sardines for dinner. The answer to this one is Robin Leach. Now, Robin Leach is a man who did Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. And Biggie, Biggie raps. Biggie uh, says, sings. It's not really singing. I don't know. I guess he raps. Biggie does. I made a change from a common thief to up close and personal with Robin Leach. The answer there here is ear. Living life without fear. Putting five carrots in my baby girl's ear. Now the answer here is school. Lunches, brunches, interviews by the pool. Considered a fool because I dropped out of high school. Now this one is one of my favorites because it just, it highlights this young man's age when he died. He was still into video games and, and I... I know a lot of adults play video games. The, the Japanese market is dominated by adults playing video games. So, but this is a child. This is a boy uh, talking about this autobiographical moment. Now, the answer here is this. Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis. When I was dead broke, I couldn't picture this. Now, the answer here is that. Phone bill about two G's flat. No need to worry. My accountant handles that. Now, I might find another one before I finish, but if I don't, this would be a perfect finish. 